Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what I wanted to go over was what does a bad capacitor look like? All right, this particular capacitor was just pulled out of a 27-year-old Florida heat pump. I just found this the other night, and it was leaking the dielectral solution all outside of the capacitor. All right, so the fluid is actually coming out and all over the place. All right, so you don't even need to test that. That is bad. Just make sure you turn the power off, you disconnect it, and you replace it with a like, uh, like style uh, capacitor with the same rating. All right. This particular capacitor right here, if you can make that out, it's actually got like a mushroom top. So basically, the middle of it is pointed up right here. All right. Whenever you see that, that is a bad capacitor as well, or one that's on its way out. Another thing that you might see is you might see it all wet on the top right here. And if nothing else is wet in the inside of the, that electrical compartment, and it should not be, uh, then that capacitor is on its way out. But this one has a mushroom top as well. All right. Um, but it's just starting. Okay. So those are all bad capacitors. This one looks just fine though. All right. So, so you wouldn't have any visual on this telling you that it's bad. So we're going to go ahead and test this one out. All right, this one is a 40 plus 5 UF capacitor. It's a 370 VAC. All right, so put your multimeter to MFD. And you can short these out. You want to short it out, uh, not necessarily to drain all of the voltage out, because all of it, for the most part, should, should mainly be drained out from the last time the unit was turned off, the, the compressor and fan will draw most of the voltage out already, but if there's just a little bit remaining, we're going to short that just to make sure we have an accurate measurement with our multimeter. The start capacitors, the black capacitors, those are the uh, ones that would uh, actually have voltage in them because they're cut out by relay uh, while the unit's running. Uh, but the capacitors, normal run capacitors, typically have the voltage drained out of them uh, when the unit is shut off. Uh, but just to confirm that, we're always safe and everything, we just scrape this and to make sure that our, um, we're getting a good reading with our multimeter. So common to fan, we should get five, let's see here, we should get five MFD. And you want to press your probes down real nice and hard, all right, and you see we are actually getting, oh, there we go, 0.87. All right, so you want to leave your probes on there for, you know, maybe 10 seconds. Press them in real hard, you know, 5 to 10 seconds. Make sure you're making a good electrical connection. And that is nowhere near uh, 5 MFD. All right, so it could be within 5 to 6% um, off, and it would still be okay. So now we're going to go from Herm to Common. Okay, so we did Fan to Common, and now we're going to go Herm to Common. All right. Once again, you know, you want to give it enough time to make sure you're reading the capacitor. All right, and we have 39.2. All right, so 39.2 is within 6% of what this capacitor is calling for. So that side is still good, but it's very, very likely to fail very soon from now. So you're going to replace this with another dual run capacitor. That is 40 plus 5 UF, or you can replace it with a, a single capacitor that's 40 UF, and then another single capacitor that's 5 UF. You know, 5 meaning for the fan and 40 for the hermetically sealed compressor, all right, regardless of whether that's a scroll or a um, reciprocating. All right, herm means compressor. Fan is talking about the, com uh, the uh, condenser fan on the top of the outdoor unit. And then common is just attached to one of your 120 volt legs, and you have two 120 volt legs that make up your 240 volt um, power for your outdoor unit. All right, so you're going to make sure you do all that with the power off and the wires isolated off of the capacitor. That's how you do it. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.